Hello children, this is math lab activity of class 12. In this activity, we are going to draw the graph of sin inverse. For that, we need to draw the graph of sin x first. Okay, for that what I have done, uh, draw the x axis, y axis. For the value of x, you take pi by 12, that is 15 degree. Then another 15 degree is increased, pi by 6, 30 degree, pi by 4, 45 degree, pi by 3, 60 degree, 5 pi by 12, that is 75 degree, pi by 2, 90 degree. So I increased each, uh, each 1 centimeter, I take the scale as 15 degree. Same way when I go for the value, no, the values, only specific angles you know, it's not a matter, you can take only the specific value also. For the better graph, I have taken the decimal value also. From the uh, sign value table, you can take the value or by calculation you can do. When you do this in record notebook, you can find the exact value and do. But in the uh, math activity or uh, practical exams, no, you mention these angles but mark only the specific angle value so that you can get the graph, same graph. In y-axis, I have mentioned uh, for that I told no from for these angles I found the angle value 15 degree, 30 degree, 45, 60, 75, 90. I find the value which are in decimals. So the value of y we know any graph, sine graph or cos graph, the range will be 1 to minus 1 only. So I have split this 1 and minus 1 into decimal part which will be convenient for me to mark the graph. So what I did, I split it into 10 equal parts. 0 0.10, 20, 30, likewise it is 1. Okay. So mark y axis like this, x axis like this. Now we will see, we will uh, plot the point. With the help of this table, you can plot the value. Pi by 12 is 0 0.25, that is 2. 5 0.25 same way for the negative value pi by 2 also it is 2 5 it comes here 2 5 this is 2 5 minus this is for plus pi by 6 the value is 0 0.5 go for 0 0.5 same way the minus pi by 6 will be minus 0 0.5 mark minus 0 0.5 then Pi by 4, pi by 4 is 0 0.7, go for 0 0.7, same way minus pi by 4 will be minus 7, then pi by 3 plus pi by 3 will be 0 0.87, 0 0.8, 85, 86, 87, this is 0 0.87, same way minus pi by 3 will be 0 0.8, 85, 86, 87. You can understand why I have taken such a decimal value here. So it will be convenient. You will be getting a perfect graph. Same way, 5 pi by 12, that is 75 degree is 0 0.96. 0 0.995960.96. 0 0.96. Same way, minus 5 by 12 will be, 5 pi by 12 will be 0 0.956. 96. 5 by 2, 90 will be minus 1. Same way here, pi by 2 positive will be plus 1. Now we can join this. You can uh, see the path. You can join this and get a smooth curve. Here is the sine graph. This is sine x. You know, if you continue this, this is the maximum and if you continue, the graph will go like this for the minimum. For the next 180, it will reach 0. Okay. So, this is sin x. Now, I am going to draw the graph of y equal to x. Take this graph of y equal to x. y equal to x means 1 of 1, 1, 2 of 1, 2, 3 of 3, 4 of 4, 5 of 5. We will get a straight line through the origin. See how it looks. See here. 
this is the graph y equal to x i draw a straight line what is the purpose of this straight line now we are going to get to the mirror image of these points so this line is acts as a mirror we will be getting the symmetric points that is the mirror images how do you get a mirror image just to draw the perpendicular at the equal distance for example here in this point keep the ruler or you can keep the z square also you can see here see i keep the uh, the point 5 to exactly match on the line see the point 5 5 cm point i keep it exactly on the line so that is it is coinciding with the line y equal to x so we can understand the scale is perpendicular to that now move little more see here now the point is exactly perpendicular if i draw this line now see one second i'll give a clear picture of it see here i keep the point y phi on see it is coinciding now this line is coinciding with my y equal to x line so it is exactly matching so the scale is perpendicular the ruler is perpendicular to this line i can measure it is 1.1 cm distance this distance is 1.1 cm same at the back also i mark a point at 1.1 cm and draw this line so this is 5 to 6 1 cm 1.1 this is my point so i am getting the point here this is my 1.1 point the line is also this is also perpendicular why i am making the perpendicular lines are equal distance this distance and this distance are equal if i draw join this point no it will be a mirror image of this point if this is point a this will be the mirror image a dash likewise okay you can give the naming according to what you have written in the theory part same way i'm going to draw see here again i keep uh, here i keep number 7 which is exactly coinciding and i am keeping it near that point i could measure this is 7 to 6 1 cm then again 6 to 5 2 cm so if i go back also i am getting 7 to 8 1 cm 8 to 9 again 2 cm so that i can draw the line like this okay so this is my mirror image point likewise i will be drawing perpendiculars that is mirror images to all these points see see here i marked all the mirror images now i am going to join these points see now i joined the mirror image points this is my sign inverse x graph okay this is sin x we draw the y equal to x line mark the perpendiculars mirror image points when you join that you are getting the sin inverse x like this you can draw the sin inverse x when you uh, change the cap the intervals or this point no it may uh, the shape of the bells will differ but anyways the direct ratio will be curving downward maximum attaining maximum at one the inverse will be facing upward the inverse will be facing upward with that you can find you can verify that it is sin inverse x okay